Hello Pisces and welcome to my channel. I don't know if you can hear that little bird in the background. It sounds like R2-D2. It's really cute. There it goes. <laughs> and cicadas as well. So this is your reading for March. You've got a little bird messaging you and talking to you in your reading. So it's Pisces season. Happy birthday. Happy Pisces season. If you're having a, if you're a March Pisces birthday person. So let's see, we have Page of Acorns, Discovery and Enthusiasm. This little curious monkey is going, I've got something to explore. I've got some new messages around things that I need, need to explore. So, yeah, interesting coming through. Let's see what is coming in with this. So, as you know, this is the that's the Page of Wands. So the, we do move into Aries season and later in the month we do have <laughs> a full moon in Libra which is an eclipse. So let's see what is coming in. What's shifting and changing for Pisces? We have Moon Scorpio Cup 7 and Cup 5 Pluto Scorpio. Interesting. So it's like something has been disappointing or just hasn't worked out. And it's like, okay, I'm looking at new options now. I'm reevaluating this situation. Is there something new that I can activate or explore that could make this better that I could get a different result coming in here or or feel like I'm I'm feeling a bit differently about this so let's see what else is coming through so the cup five can mean that now we've got the roosters that um, with the Pluto Scorpio a lot of Scorpio energy here for you a lot of water coming in with that energy Pisces is that it could be very intense, like there's been some kind of intense emotional situation and now it's time, the five of cups with the Pluto is it's time to transform that emotional situation and explore new things where it felt like, yeah, intense, absolutely. So let's pull some cards. So Pisces, I just wanted to let you know that this reading is for Pisces, Sun, Moon and Rising. Always recommend to watch all three of your placements if you know where they are because it gives you the fuller picture of what's going on for you. And this is a general reading, Pisces. You've got all the birds happening in the background. Just take what feels right. Leave the rest. We can get a reading without so many birds, but you do have the page crowning. The first card is about messages from spirit coming in. It's like bombarded messages. You, might, you can transform how you're feeling in this situation. So if it does really resonate, there will be an extended reading and the link for that will be in the description box below. So I love it if you come over and check that out. Let's see what else we've got. The Five of Pentacles, it's interesting you've got these fives coming in. They can represent uh, challenges crossed by the Page of Wands. Okay, so perhaps it's like there hasn't been the means. Here's the Fool. You've got all these energies. Boom, the Tower. My goodness, Ace of Wands. My goodness, the Ten. All these beginnings, endings, unexpected things happening. What is going on? Yes, we are in the Eclipse Portal. So... Wow, boom, the tower. You guys are ready for a release and a change and the seven of cups again. So, and the five of cups. Wow, lots of very strong messages coming in. It's like repeating, repeating, repeating messages, repeating signs. If you don't getting the message, the universe will give you the message of what's coming in for you that they want you to get. My goodness, wow, okay. We are really breaking free here and here's this beautiful Piscean card, the Page of Cups going, yes, I am ready. Look at all these pages. So you're ready. You've got all, all four pages here. Oh, we've got two Page of Wands, sorry, a Page of Cups and a Page of Pentacles. So we have as a situation the Five of Pentacles. So this is where it may have been concern or worry about a financial situation or a situation that just wasn't giving you what you needed on the material realm. So whether it was just something you're not resonating for you or you just weren't quite getting enough, we have that crossed by the Page of Wands and it's kind of stopped you from going out and exploring or it's blocked you from exploring something new. So it's it's a little bit like it's like you, the five of five of pentacles is where the people are leaving the church and saying I don't feel welcome there anymore. And then crossed by this sense of we're off into new territories but 
where, where, where is that? Because we see in the conscious mind, the fool, the fool is you're ready to step off into the new, into the new adventure. It doesn't know where it's going. It's just like off I go, something new's activated, something's got unexpectedly reset without really any great sense of foresight or really knowing exactly what's going on here. It's interesting the fives are kind of saying things were challenging. There were challenges or things were, yeah, got uncomfortable. They, it's this un discomfort that came in here which precipitated the change. So the fool does represent a reset. It could have mean that somebody quite act, quite literally acted quite hastily or didn't think and when they were acting and it was a bit like, whoa, what just happened here? We've su I suddenly find myself in this whole new kind of territory which is interesting at the base we've got the tower so this is what's happening deep down and the tower as you know means change unexpected change disruption chaos so it's kind of like whatever this has happened it's like whoa okay I was not expecting that but it could be a revelation. It's like I just need to blow off some steam. Everything's been so stressful or everything's just been a bit of a challenge and I just need a change from that. And we have in the recent past the Ace of Wands and this is saying that something new did activate or did it's sort of this desire to initiate something new or to, um, yeah, uh, to activate something new. But it kind of feels like it... It was disappointing. It didn't quite go anywhere. That's the feeling I got. It's like, oh, it all happened so quickly and then it was over before it began. And then it was like this energy of what What was that? You know, I thought I was going down this interesting path of exploring something and now it feels a bit like, yeah, it just wasn't what I was expecting. So in the near future, we've got the Ten of Wands and this is saying that it's... It, it's dedication to, it feels like heavy burdens, to be honest. It, it feels like, okay, I'm one step in front of the other. The steps are getting heavier and heavier and heavier. So it's almost like the energy becomes harder to push through and it feels like heavier and heavier and oh, I'm just trudging along still. And I want this change. I want this reset. I want to go off into new chartered area energies and everything feels a bit blocked it's all feeling a bit blocked here Pisces I have to say and it feels like hard work it really does feel like there's hard work about initiating starting something new getting kind of some kind of, kind of concrete result that you're looking for here and so no wonder you're turning up as the seven of cups which is re-evaluation the picture is not clear here with the seven of cups it's like clouded what do I choose? What's going on here? So I've got to reevaluate how I'm feeling about this because this is, there potentially might be something that just, yeah, was disappointing, which is the five of cups, the energy surrounding you, something started and it was disappointing. It didn't manage to kind of fulfill or live up to what it, it wanted or what it was promising in some way. And so the five of cups is someone that's really focused on the things that aren't feeling great or aren't working or have hurt them or been a bit of heartache or loss or something like that. And so they're really focused on, um, yeah, the, the things that are hurting them. We do have these two cups here behind them. They, they need to um, shift the focus. It's like an emotional break from the past. And with this Pluto energy up here, it's saying you can transform this situation, whatever it was that was disappointing. And this could have been something long ago from the past, something that just hasn't kind of panned out as you would have liked having gone through the review of where you find yourself now. And it's like, yeah, did did it live up or did I live up What are, to expectations? So hopes and fears, we have the three of wands. And it, it just feels like there's a lot of questioning about this, but also seeing through that questioning and this tower energy, it creates this unstable energy that creates opportunity for change, cracks things open. So we have hopes and fears, the three of wands. So this is the young emperor hoping for the results, that, hoping for the ships to come in, hoping for that thing that didn't transpire or was disappointing. It's like, I, I, yeah, I'm still waiting. 
That's what I wanted. And then we, so we have as the outcome, the four of cups, the two of pentacles, the eight of swords and the page of pentacles. It's like, this is just going to feel, it doesn't feel like the situation is going to get any better or feel any better until you take this new opportunity that comes in with this page of pentacles. It's like hmm, feeling blur, out of balance, feeling really restricted. And then potentially out of the blue, there's some kind of surprise opportunity or su surprise offer or su surprise message that suddenly feels like, okay, <laughs> all right, this is what I've been waiting for. Or this is the second chance or this is the message about how to move into the right direction, get out of this kind of funky, heavier energy here. So there's this new fresh energy that starts coming through with the Page of Swords, which feels like you're breaking free of some sort of really funky energy. So yeah, the new opportunity is here, but it's like the character might not just might not see it coming. And so here we have the Page of Cups, surprise, Pisces, there's a fish in the cup, you know, there's some kind of surprise offering. And it's like, I really was not expecting that for a start. So it's something that potentially took you by surprise. And it was like, maybe not the happiest of surprises at first, but now it feels like there's some sort of new thing that comes along where you are being encouraged to open your heart to this new thing. And this has got the opportunity for new potentials. Because it's interesting, the Five of Pentacles is like I'm leaving the building. The tower is like the walls are quite literally crumbling down. This isn't resonating. It isn't right for you. You've outgrown it. The Fool is like, yeah, I'm just jumping off into the new. So it's like you're ready. The Page of Wands is I don't necessarily feel confident about doing this, but it's happening. Um, it's I don't know if I'm ready to step into this uncharted water, but I'm, it's happening. And so it, it, it's this uh, interesting energy of nervous excitement, but it, it is a sense of having to overcome some limitations or breaking free of limitations. And perhaps it's like you are taking on a lot. You're taking on like a, a second thing just to kind of to take on this opportunity to move through this, to to look at the new option that's coming in for you. So it does feel like there's an exciting breakthrough, an exciting new option that's coming in. It just, it's, it's sort of, um, it's just about how you get there and, and about embracing it as well. So let's see, let's pull an affirmation card coming through. So a surprise, a surprise, there, there's like a, there's two surprises I'm seeing here. One didn't work out and that was a surprise. And then there's an opportunity for a surprise that feels like, okay, this is a breakthrough of sorts. So it's all about how much work you're putting in, which is that 10 of ones. And they keep saying, this is Pisces in Saturn, Pisces in Saturn, Pisces asking you to take responsibility for something, Pisces asking you to put in the work and it feel can feel quite heavy at first as well. But I do feel like there's some kind of new opportunity around it, which is going to feel a lot better. So we have, I am at peace. Okay, that would be good. Divine peace and harmony surround me and dwell in me. I feel tolerance, compassion, and love for all people, myself included. Great. And we've got, my healing is already in process. My willingness to forgive begins my healing process. I allow the love from my own heart to wash through me, cleansing and healing every part of my body. I know I am worth healing. So let's pull a charm. The vision is still forming here. That's it. It's almost like the, the clouds part and you see what it is that you needed to see all along. Okay, let's see the charm that we have. Uh, the beautiful turtle, yes, the turtle, this is the turtle, the baby turtle climbing over the sand, making the treacherous journey over the sand to reach the ocean. So it does feel like there's been some kind of challenging journey, but it's like, got to get there, got to get there, got to get there. And then we have the horse. Look at that horse just frolicking and free, not feeling like, it's like I want to get back into the ocean where I feel at home, where I feel like things are flowing and where I'm feeling the freedom. I'm feeling the freedom of the flow and the direction that comes in. And I'm not feeling all these restrictions or these weights 
all these heavy burdens or the weight of responsibility and things just aren't feeling great. So it's a little bit like there is something that comes in that just takes the edge off. There's a new opportunity, which is, which is kind of a bit fun. They keep getting this frolicking feeling. So it's, it feels very inner child. It feels very much like let's go and explore something new and fun and get away from some of this serious energy for a while. So it does feel like there's these surprise opportunities that you might not see coming. Some of you might have surprise birthday parties, <laughs> which you might not be quite ready for. But whatever this, uh, this energy is, it really feels like I just need a, a I need to get away from all of this and let off a bit of steam and have a bit of fun. So there's going to be more opportunities for that coming in, which is really nice. So I'm going to take it over to the extended reading now, Pisces, because we see this sense that the new opportunities, the messages about trying new things, opening your heart to new things, discovering and exploring new things, tangible things, uh, you know, maybe things you haven't tried before and things that are fun. So it's like bring a little bit more of this into your world. And so there's these surprise opportunities coming your way here. And we're going to see what else is coming through <laughs> with the surprises that are coming in. So we're going to look into the near future, the future beyond. We're going to see what, what else these little pages, you know, we are in the eclipse season. So it feels a bit like, whoa, everything's a bit... Um, destabilized but there are new opportunities coming so we're going to explore that in the extended reading so love it if you come over the link is in the description box below usually pin the link to the comments as well please take care and please like subscribe share leave a comment love to read your comments comments all of that helps with the growth of the channel and yeah happy Pisces season <music>